Hi, and welcome back to Temple Baptist Church Online Devotion. I'm glad that you're with me today. I'm continuing my book, uh, uh, my study in the book of Ruth. This is the second uh, devotion from this, um, from this book. Um, last devotion, we looked at verse 1 and verse 2, and the fact that we're, uh, we always uh, face hard choices. Today, this devotion is entitled Unexpected Crisis. We see that um, Naomi and her husband, uh, Limelech, uh, they were from Bethlehem, which was in Judah, and they had gone out from there over to uh, the east, many, many, many miles to the east, to Moab. And it says there in verse 2 that they had two sons, and one son, his name was Malon, and the second son was Chilion. And um, that they had come from Judah, they went to the country of Moab, and they had remained there. Uh, Elimelech, Naomi's husband, it says in verse 3, died, and she was left and her two sons. Now, the sons couldn't have been that old by this particular point, and it doesn't say how many years they had been in Moab before Elimelech died. One of the things that we find through reading this uh, particular um, story is that more likely than not, Elimelech used all of his inheritance, um, sowed the property that he had back in Bethlehem to get his family to Moab, and it was there that they bought land. But then, unexpected crisis. Naomi's husband passed away. And we don't know exactly why he died. It just said that Naomi's husband died and she was left and her two sons. They would go on to say there in verse 4 that they took wives of the women of Moab. The name of one was Orpha and the name of the other was Ruth, and they dwelt there about 10 years. And then both of the sons, according to verse 5, both of the sons died, and so the women survived her two sons and her husband. Naomi had this unexpected crisis with her husband passing away, later with her sons passing away, doesn't say anything about grandchildren. Um, crisis, when it comes, is always unexpected. How do we deal with it? God is all-knowing. He knows, and He's able to give us a peace in every situation that surpasses understanding. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and gentleness, faithfulness and self-control, the Holy Spirit is at work in the heart of the believer, and I trust that you believe and follow in Jesus, and so that the Holy Spirit is at work in the heart of the believer, providing for them, when crisis comes, all that they need to make it through, to keep their eyes on the Father, and to allow Him to move and work in their heart, to get them through that situation. Like Naomi we will all be, um, at one point or another in our life, we will all be in a situation where we face an unexpected crisis. And I trust that when that happens, you will turn your eyes to God rather than allowing your heart to be flooded with the things of this world. You know, at Temple Baptist Church, more than anything else, we'd love to help you grow in your relationship with the Lord. We meet on Sundays at 8, 10, and 6, on Wednesday at 7, and if you don't have a church home, come and join us here. I encourage you to like and share this video as it may help somebody else as well. God bless you, and I hope that you'll return next time as we continue our study in Ruth.